Hi, and welcome to my channel, NASA Zane's videos about this little VU meter. It does quite a few things, actually. It's a VU meter spectrum analyzer. It does quite a few things. Bought this on AliExpress very, very recently. Uh, I'll show you a picture there on AliExpress. I pay £13 for this, including postage. But uh, that has shot up a little bit, uh, just a little bit. It's about £12 or £13, pound, but they've added postage at the moment. But I think that will fluctuate a bit, a bit like Amazon. The prices go up and down. So you... It kind of goes between 13 and 18 pound, including postage or whatever, free postage or whatever, to here in the UK. It didn't take long to get here, it took just over a week, so it's pretty quick. So I'm just going to flick through a few things it does here before I actually go a bit more in detail. So, how to connect it, a few ways of connecting this up. It's got some connections at the side there, which may come in handy for some people. And this really maybe replaces some of these old VU meters. If we put it, that's a the clock there, by the way, it's got a clock on it. So, if I stick it to the old VU meter there, hopefully you can see it. That's just one meter. You may need, you know, you may have a spare a meter that's gone, and you want to buy a spare one. And you can't get the exact one. Then this may fit. It may not fit, but uh, you may want not want to use it anyway. Uh, after I've told you all about it, you may change your mind pretty quickly. But um, let's just um, go through a few things here. The actual unit is sixty millimeters by twenty nine milli millimeters. A prox. I've done it a pruno. Can't get it spot on, but near enough. Near enough. And the actual display. What you're actually going to see is forty six millimeters by 25 and like I say this retails for about 13 quid at the moment so oh, I thought for that kind of money isn't that expensive you've got some connections down the side here so let's just take you through them connections at the top there you can see the plus 5 volts then the next one down is minus it's ground basically for everything it's ground uh, so that's ground we're going to call that then we've got switch 1 and 2 which would short out down to ground you'll take a wire off a of ground or a wire off of one of them switches if you didn't want to use these switches at the front if you wanted to take them off because they do protrude if i just do a little picture there they stick up about a millimeter above the face so if you're pushing this against a piece of glass they may just get in your way so you can unsolder them they're easy enough to unsolder unsolder them off if you wanted to back to that uh, diagram then we've got switch two then we've got the left and right inputs or right and left i can't remember which way around it is now uh, there as well so you take one input from there and put it down to ground it does come this is how it comes in the pack by the way you get the unit uh, get a, a kind of wire there and the connectors that you can solder onto the side yeah, there's, there's a picture of uh, a few pictures there of the connectors and me soldering it onto the side i've took them off again so i made a bit of a bodge job really i've took them off for this here so it's back to flat but you can have them connectors at the back i'm going to show you a couple of videos in a minute of this actually working and also what these switches do uh, you can set the time using these switches and also you can set the level the um, the input level of this uh, through you know coming through at the moment I've got it connected to mic you can turn that mic on and off uh, with this little menu system I'm going to show you towards the end and um, also you can adjust the level the input of that microphone and also the input of what's coming in your left and right if you've got the mic turned off and you've got it connected to the side there uh, to the connections at the side you can adjust the level between uh, zero uh, I think it could be zero is it between one and 29 and you just flick through that so you've got quite a big sweep there of um, you know of input level kind of thing and obviously if it's still too loud for your kind of input you could probably put a resistor in the lead or something like that but I don't think you're gonna have to do that so there it is uh, let's just flick through a few things while I've got it on here but I'm gonna there's two little meters, like I say, they are independent of each other. Obviously, not so much here when we've got the microphone. But if you've got a lead going inwards, they are uh, independent of each other. Another couple of meters, the old kit kind of thing there. The spectrum analyzer there. Right, let's have a talk about the little spectrum analyzer and what this actually picks up. So uh, I did do a little frequency sweep. I'm going to do all the videos at the end, so if you want to stick it around, you can watch them. I've done a frequency sweep, and I found that this spectrum analyzer... It's not great. It's all right, but it's not great. It does 100 hertz. The first reading at the side here is 100 hertz. As it sweeps through, it goes up to about 2 kilohertz, and that's it, and it peters out. Uh, so, yeah, it's not the full spectrum. I don't know if there's any kind of filter you could put in that if you're connecting up them leads to some kind of way of filtering that to get a more broader range of that spectrum analyzer. But uh, that's all it does, so that's a bit of a drawback there. Um, yeah, the brightness... Uh, oh, yeah, forget about it. We'll come back in a minute, the brightness. The switches at the front, like I say, they come off if you wanted to. Um, and it's got a USB, so if I unplug it, you can power it from the side, that connects with the side, plus 5 volts, don't forget, you can power it from there, but it has got a USB at the back, so we show you a picture of it at the back there, you can see the picture of it at the back, and it's quite a few bits on this board actually, you've got a little battery there, etc, there's two little pots here at the side here, I'll show you that picture again, you may just catch them too, I haven't touched them, but I should imagine that's the level control that someone set up at the factory, to make sure the levels on the left and right 
are exactly the same. So I'm not going to touch that. I'm not too sure if I've told you how big this is, but I'll tell you again just in case. It's 60 millimeters, the actual board approximately by um, 29, and the actual display is 46 by 25. I think I've told you that anyway, but there you go. You can power it by just a USB, and this is USB C by the way. So I've got my little power brick there, but um, you could use something else if you wanted to put that to maybe replace one of these old VU meters uh, in this unit. Now, <clears throat> Just one thing about the actual VU meter, that arm, that arm that swings around on the one big meter, it kind of breaks up just a little bit of tearing on it towards the top. And um, if I just think a picture up there, uh, you can see there right at the top, just a little bit tears and it does happen as it sweeps backwards and forwards. And the sweeping motion is, it's a bit erratic, if you know what I mean. It can be a bit erratic. And uh, on these old receivers, these old amplifiers and uh, tape decks and that, you usually got a little capacitor uh, connected up and also on your, um, you can't see it, but there's a, a tuning meter there. Usually got a little capacitor uh, connected up, so the sweep is more of a nice flowing, easy sweep. On this here, it's a bit erratic. You'll probably see that in the video at the end. So I think I've really captured it all there. Would I recommend it? Um, probably I won't bother. I don't think I'll bother going, connect, that's why I took the wires off. It's connecting up all them wires. If I had it, I may get another one if I did. But if I had it, I'll have it just on the side and um, just have it so the microphone picks it up and put it on maybe the spectrum analyzer or the old kit or something like that. Probably do away with a VU. Or I'll probably, well, it's all right, but um, yeah, uh, I'll probably have it on something like that just on the side. Something pretty cheap, you know, if you've already got a power supply on that. And you can get a case for it. If, if you look back on that site, they do do a little uh, case, 3D printed case for an extra two pounds, something like that. You may want to put it in a little case or well, you may want to get a couple of them and put it in your own kind of little unit you make up yourself, just two of these. It wouldn't cost you a lot, would it? Two of these, 26, 30 pounds, something like that. You've probably got a power supply sitting around, make up a little box. You may want two of these. They're not going to be accurate or anything like that. As you know, that that, that sweep, um, that frequency sweep is, like I say, between 100 hertz and, and, two, and uh, 2 kilohertz. And the old level meter breaks up a little bit and it, it may not be that accurate. I don't know. It's a bit erratic, like I say. So you may not want it for that. You may just want it for sitting on the side. But um, you may have been looking at this. This is the reason I was going to put it on there and thinking, is, that, is it any good? Probably make your own mind up by these couple of videos. So these two videos is just me going playing a YouTube track. You're going to see me flicking through the different displays. And right at the end, you're going to see me pushing these two buttons both at the same time. And the menu comes up. For the, it's not much of a menu, but shows you uh, what else you can do in that menu, uh, mainly adjusting the... Uh, Sweep. Now, what I would say is that the Spectrum Analyzer, by the way, just very quickly, it's got, it's kind of, you'll see the picture. If I just stick a picture up there on the screen now, the Spectrum Analyzer, you see some kind of bars going across horizontally. I'd, I'd prefer it probably without them bars. Uh, would be a little bit of a niggle of mine. And also if we had a little bit of a brightness control so we could adjust that brightness. But uh, other than that, make your own mind up. Uh, it's a little bit gimmicky maybe, maybe just a little bit of a gadget you may have sitting on the side uh, while you're listening to music for some people. Okay, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all soon in these videos.
Okay, it's got a clock feature on there. To access the clock, just press this left button and there's the clock ticking away. You can set the time by pressing this right button, changing the hours, pressing again to set. Goes on to the minutes, exactly the same thing. Press again to set. Once you've got it set, just press this left button once more. It's set and press it once more again to get back to the different equalizers displays and you can flick through them using the right button. So that's that. Now there's also a menu in the, the unit as well. Now to get that you have to press both buttons at once. There you go. And hopefully you can see that. At the top it says exit. We don't want to exit. We can turn the mic on and off with a second option. And we can do our gain. At the moment it's on five. If you press this left button you'll change that. It goes all the way up I think to about 29. So uh, let's move that forward. Yeah, 29 then goes back down to 1. I think I don't know about 5 or 6, didn't I? So press the right button to set it. You can load the defaults if you want to, but we're not going to do that. We're going to carry on back up to the top and exit. Now, what I'm going to do is actually turn the mic on now. So uh, if I press this left button, now it's on. It says number 1, so it's on. 0 is off, so on. So that disconnect. So I'm just going to go through back out and exit. Now, that disconnect from the source, from our uh, audio inputs at the side here. It's disconnected from there. And as you can see, you can see me talking. The meters are moving as I talk. So I'll just do a little demo here. That's me talking. Uh, and my favorite one is this one here. We'll go back around to it quickly. That one there, that is me talking. So there you go. That's how you set this little unit up.